Before I start discussing my workout, I just want to go over the goal that was set. In terms of the days that I planned to work out, I had a feeling from the beginning that there might be some obstacles. I knew that there are days that I may not be able to go to the gym because the kids were going to be with me. It's the summer. They're on vacation. For this reason alone, I said that I might extend the plan to five weeks so that I can fix or redo anything that I felt I didn't do well enough during the four weeks. And that is what I did. I will come back to this. In terms of my weight, the goal was to stay within the range of 126 pound to 130. I believe there were two occasions that I went above that goal by two pounds or so. Uh, these two times, my weight were, I believe, 132 or something. The following day, I tried to control my weight to not go beyond the 132 pound. Despite that, everything was pretty good. I ate what I normally eat, with the exception when we went hiking and outdoors with the kids, I eat little things here and there. Besides that, I kept my weight under control. I was not on any specific diet plan. I just control what I ate. Now we are into week five. The reason for week five of the summer plan was that I felt that last week week four i was extremely exhausted we did a lot with the kids my shoulders were failing during some of the routines i was pushing myself too much to stick to the plan what i did was that after the last day of week four workout i believe it was on a friday i did full body workout i decided to rest the entire weekend I would uh, have gone to the gym on Monday, but my husband had to go to work early. I did not want to rush my workout if I had gone and that morning, that um, Monday morning. Uh, 
Furthermore, he had uh, come home early in the afternoon and I could have gone to the gym as soon as he was home. I decided not to go because if I had gone in the afternoon, it would have interrupted my routine, which means that I will not be able to go in the morning. My muscle will not have enough time to recover uh, morning after. I usually go to the gym at 5 a.m. So if I went at 6 p.m. Monday uh, night, I will probably be tired from the workout the night before. So therefore, I didn't even bother going to the gym on Monday. So now we are here. The idea behind today's workout was not to do majority of the wor workouts that I had done during the week four, uh, during the four weeks. Some will remain the same, like the leg exercises, but the upper body, I wanted to tweak some of them or do them differently. So I wanted my body to sort of not get used to the workout or some of the routines that I have done prior. So the minute I got to the gym, I warm up with the cable and do as many reps uh, as I can until I feel like my joints feel really good. So what I did here, I did bench press uh, on the Smith machine and I did it in three different uh, weight. Um, I, did once, I did one set with 20 pounds with to 10 pounds on both plates, that's the Smith machine, and the bench was flat. And I did 12 repetition wide grip and 12 repetition close grip, so that equal to 24. That was no rest in between. And then soon after I got up, I went and add uh, another 20 pounds, two tens again, so now it's equal to 40 pounds. I did the same thing um, at a flat bench, uh, 12 repetition wide grip, 12 repetition close grip, which equals to 24. That was another set. And I got up, I had two five pounds plates on both sides, and which equals to 50 pounds. And again, I did 12 repetition wide grip. 12 repetition, close grip. So I was done with the flat bench and I took about a minute rest. Once I recovered, I adjust the bench to a 45 degrees. I remove all the weights that were um, I just did prior and I start with 20 pounds again. I did 12 repetition, right grip. Now the bench is at 45 degrees, right? 12 repetition, right grip and 12 repetition, close grip. And I got up put the uh, two 10 pounds on both sides, which equal to 40 pounds now. I did another 12 repetition, wide grip, 12 repetition, close grip. Got up, put two five pound plates on both sides. I did the same thing again. 12 repetition, wide grip, 12 repetition, close grip. So that was three sets of 24. I was done with that. So once I was done with the 40, uh, 45 uh, degree angle bench, I put the uh, bench at the 90 degree. Again, I removed all the weights that were on the machine. I only kept the two 10 pounds, which is 20 pounds. I did the same thing with shoulder press. 12 repetition, wide grip, 12 repetition, close grip. And I got up, put another, uh, 20 pounds, 10 on each side. I did 12 repetition wide grip, 12 repetition close grip. By that time, my arm, my shoulders were burning. I could not do another set. I did not want to do the next set because I was extremely tired. My shoulders were burning. So I didn't do three sets on that. So I kept it with just two sets. Okay, now I was done with the Smith machine. So these, I I used to do them um, on the with the... Uh, dumbbell uh, with the 40 pound so that's why I decided to do this on the uh, Smith machine and all, although the f last four weeks I did not do any bench press on a flat uh, bench but because I was more in control with the Smith machine I decided to do all of these like that so now once I was done with the shoulder press with the Smith machine I went and do some uh, chest fly um, where the bench is at 45 degrees uh, with the dumbbell, 20 pounds. And this, I did three sets of 12 uh, with a 20 pound, but my wrist, once I open my arm, my wrist turn uh, slightly to do the extra set. It's almost like an Arnold uh, press, but this is a fly. I twist my arm, and then once I come um, bring it together, I twist it again. So I did three sets of that, three sets of 12. 
and with the same weight, the 20 pound, just remember, I just did all of these uh, reps uh, on the Smith machine. My arm was already burning. So I did not want to increase the weight. So I kept the 20 pound. I did regular chest fly with the dumbbell. And again, the bench is at 45 degrees. I did three sets of 12. And my rest time is between 20 and 40 seconds on all of them. With the exception, once I'm done with the, uh, with the sets, uh, with, with all of the sets, I take with all of the routine and I will take about one or two minutes rest to fully recover. So once I was done with the chest fly, I decided to do shoulder press with a 90, um, where the bench is at 90 degree, and that's with a 30 pounds. I did three sets of 12. Again, my rest time is between 20 and 40 second rest. And once I was done with that, this is slightly different with the shrugs. At first, I thought that I will not be able to do, uh, normally I do it with 50 pounds, but I wanted to do it slightly different. I decided to do one arm at a time. First, I pick up, a, I believe it was a 30 pound that I was doing the shoulder press. And then when I started doing it, that thing was so light. So I was like, there's not, I don't want to waste my time with a light weight when I could do, I want something a bit more challenging. So I used the 42.5 pound. Um, now I did the short single arm. What I did that I, I lean against a wall and then the shoulder that's holding the dumbbell, the 42.5 pound dumbbell, was somewhat uh, away. It's one side of my shoulder was leaning against the wall and the other side was away from it. Um, so I was doing the shrug one arm at a time uh, with the 42.5. Uh, so that was pretty challenging. Uh, actually, I think I like this. I should try it more often because I had to keep my core tight because the other arm did not have any weight uh, to counterbalance the other side. So that was pretty good. Um, I did feel it on the first uh, rep. So I did three sets of 12 of that with, uh, actually this, I did not take any rest because I just switch arm and adjust my um, back against the wall. So each time um, the arm that's holding the dumbbell, it had to be away from the wall. So the, other, the opposite side had to be against the wall. So uh, yeah, and I had to stand upright. It's not like I was leaning. I had to stand upright when I was doing that. All right, so once I was done with the single arm, three sets of 12, I decided to do shrugs with both arms. And I increased the weight because one arm at a time, uh, the 42 was perfect. I think the 42.5 pound was perfect for it. And when I tried to do it with both arms, it felt really light, so I decided to do 45. I usually do it with 50. So I decided to reduce with the 45, and that was just perfect especially after the way I just did the one prior. So with both arm, 45 pound dumbbell, three sets of 12. And that's between 20 and 40 second rest. But with the single arm, there were no rest. I just switch arm. And then as soon as I was done with that, I did upright row. And I wanted to do it with the 40 pounds, but the 40 pounds was taken. So I used the next lowest. I didn't want to go too heavy. I didn't want to do a 50 or 60. All these were available, but I wanted to do it with the 40. It was not there, so I decided to went down. I picked the 30 pounds uh, barbell. I did three sets of 12. And my rest time was very minimal. I don't think I even took 40 second rest. It was very minimal. And then I went to the pec fly. Um, this one is very challenging. What I did here, uh, each set, I did three sets uh, with the pec fly is a bit, uh, um, it's kind of hard to explain. So I put 70 pounds. Um, that 70 was um, actually the perfect weight for me. Um, I started, the seat was at higher level. I may have a video uh, when I was at my old gym where I did, a, I record myself doing this. Um, the seat was re um, really high. I did uh, 12 repetitions and then I lowered the seat somewhat a little bit lower and I did 12 repetitions and then I lowered it again. I did 12 repetitions and then I did uh, 
three sets of these like that back and forth until I'm done so it ended up being uh, what is it I believe is nine uh, uh, sets of uh, nine sets of uh, 96 because each one of them I lower it three times and I bring it up three times lower it three times so that's three six nine so that's nine sets of, of each one and then 12 repetition of each one so that's uh, 36 so I did uh, nine sets of 36 of these and after the second set I actually take a little bit more than 40 seconds because my chest was burning so the first two I believe it was between 20 and 40 seconds the last set was uh, extremely difficult after the second set I took more than um, 40 seconds but the goal was to do between 20 and 40 seconds rest then once I was done with that with the pet fly I I did some chest press with the cable this one is seated I did with a thir um, 10 pound and I did three sets of that and my rest time was between 20 and 40 second rest and while I was there I saw the bicep curl the seated bicep curl was there so I decided to do a couple uh, sets by seated bicep curl I started with 50 pounds I did three set um, I did one set of 12 and I realized it was too heavy so I lowered it to 30 I did uh, 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 with the 30 pounds I did three sets of 12 so the first set was uh, 50 pounds I wanted to do three sets but because it was too heavy I reduced it um, I did uh, with a 30 pound three sets of 12 then I went to one of the cable machines that were available not the one that I normally do my chest thing so this one was available and the gym was kind of packed so I wanted to do my forearm I use it I put 20 pounds I did my forearm three sets of 12 and then I did the bicep curls going down the rack I started at 30 pounds and go all the way to 17.5 with the dumbbell so with these I never count my reps I just do as much as I can um, until my arm I cannot do any more curls and then I went upstairs and did a little bit uh, stretching for my lower back and then I did some oblique on the woman chair and I did some leg lifts um, this there's no count I don't even remember how many sets I did I just do as much as I could and then I went back down I felt like I could do some more I did my oblique um, the same way I normally do it with 20 pounds this the 20 pound is still challenging there's no reason for me to bring it high because I'm still find it challenging I will do uh, with the cable one set of 60 per side that's both side I'll do 20 really far back 20 a little bit closer and another 20 close and then I do another 20 doing my back it's I don't even add this to it because it has to do with my lower back and then I'll switch to the other side and I normally do some stretches stretching on the uh, squat rack after I do the oblique but uh, all of them were taking so people were doing their squats and stuff like that so and then I left that was it and I put some notes here explaining the pec fly about the seated being lower and stuff like that so that's about it and uh, I think that was good that I sort of switched thing a little bit because my chest really had a good pump today um, tomorrow I'll be doing legs I'm not sure how I will do it and I think I'll do the same thing that I did here um, I'm just gonna go for a blank sheet of paper and I'll go um, I'll do things based on how I feel and then I'll write them down and once I come here and I'll put them on a more uh, organized way like I did here so that's it and please let me know what you think um, I haven't really, I'm going to look to see if I have any uh, progress uh, pictures. Um, I didn't really do much of pictures of myself. I didn't even um, measure myself. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it.